Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Viking MTG. Sorry for the absence. Um, of course, like I said, I've been real busy lately, but uh, I've actually been having a hard time finding product to open. Um, I'm not just going to grab a booster box of Dominaria or whatever. I've done so much of that. So many different uh, existing standard products and even stuff pretty far back. Um, unless I find something real special, I'm not going to buy a booster box. I'm going to buy my uh, Allegiances boxes from Rudy. Uh, probably going to get a case from Rudy. Simply because of the price. The price is unbeatable to get uh, a case from Rudy. And uh, I'm just done overpaying. It's that simple. Like I said, unless I'm trading, uh, I'm not going to overpay anymore. Uh, but I got this. I, I have had f some decent fun and some decent hits pulling stuff out of these. So it is actually random, the packs that come in these. Um, I've seen all different packs in these before. I think I saw a Return to Ravnica pack in uh, one of the ones from the Exelon block. So it's random what's in these. So let's see what we got. I hope everybody's week's going okay. Um, I am going to pre-release, but it's probably, I'm probably not going to go to the midnight pre-release. Um, I am too tired from the week. Uh, uh, there's no way I'll even have a... I won't have a good time at midnight. So I'm going to go uh, team up with Kyle, one of my patrons, and do a uh, two-headed giant on Saturday, and if I can squeeze in another one on Sunday, I will. And of course, I'll show you the results there, and I'll probably get an extra pre-release pack at each one to open on the channel. I love opening pre-release packs, so let's see what we got here. Our pack <coughs> packs all look standard. Exelon Rivals. Dominaria and Corset 2019. So that's pretty predictable. Uh, way to look at it, that's 16 bucks right there. Uh, so that's that's the majority of the uh, product back at you. All right. We got our pat art. So this is pretty much completely random. The stuff that's in here and uh i've had some good hits i've gotten uh storm um, siren storm tamers i've gotten curious obsessions out of these uh, i've gotten some pretty decent rares uh, but this is the pretty much default intro pack uh, the one that game stores will give you are supposed to be able to give you for free I've heard of game stores charging for these now. Um, none of the ones I know, I, I frequent, would do that, I'm sure. But if they have them, would do that. But I've heard of other game stores charging a buck or two or five dollars for these intro decks that are worthless. Shivan Dragon, Sarah's Guardian, Wintermaster Sphinx, Gravewalker, an Aggressive Mammoth. Very nice. That's a couple bucks right there. These are all worthless, but the Aggressive Mammoth is worth a few dollars. That's a good hit. It's played. I see it played a lot on uh, Arena. It's actually a deadly card if you're not familiar with it. It's great for Mono Green Stompy. It's uh, 3 and 3 green for a Trampler, an 8 8 Trampler, and uh, other creatures you control have Trample. So it's great for Mono Green. You certainly wouldn't want to play that in any deck where you don't have a lot of ramp. You want to play Mono Green and you want to ramp into it. Uh, Regal Blood Lord, Psychic Simeon, Poison Tip Archer, Coral Reinforcements, and Enigma Drake. Great uncommons. More basic lands. Tap lands. Seder Enchanter, Skyrider Patrol. More basic lands. So not too bad. The aggressive mammoths to hit out of there. Uh, I'm not sure what that's sitting at right now. Let's take a look. Uh, I know this in the um, sort of bucket, the one, the green planeswalker. That's the only ones. Uh, that's the only places you can get that card. You can't pull that out of a pack of M19.
Progressive Mammoth is currently a dollar twenty-nine. <laughs> Not really worth what it was, but it still registers. Uh, let's take a look at this here pack. Like I said, these can be completely random. You can find some interesting stuff in these. I'm trying to find the tab. There might be no. There isn't a tab on this one. Some of these have tabs, and some of them don't. And I don't have an exacto knife in front of me. I'd have to do some serious hunting to find one. Oh, there we go. I got one open. Finally got it open. Shouldn't get open without damaging the cards. Sorry about that. We have Adventurous Impulse, Land of Worlds, very nice. Thrashing Bronidon, at the very end, very nice. These have got a nice bend to them. Jungle Delver, uh, Grazing Whiptail, Trigger Monster Son, Volcanic Dragon, Vice a Pyromancer, good card. Trumpet Blast, Talons of Wildwood, Rabbit Bite, Plummet, Naturalized, Elvish Rejuvenator. Druid of Horns, Declare Dominance, Colossal Majesty, Col uh, Colossal Dreadmaw, Blanchwood Armor, a bunch of basic lands, Draconic Disciple, Brawl Bash Ogre, Aerial Engineer, Rogue's Gloves, Manolith, Gargoyle Sentinel, Explosive Apparatus, Diamond Mare, Skittering Surveyors, a bunch of more basic lands. So, so far we've gotten a lot of playable cards, and um, there's not a lot of value on that world, but um, people want them. I know people who will definitely take a land of world for their deck, you know. And a lot of time the LGSs don't have them, because they've been picked over. Also, don't be that guy who refuses to pay value for com for uncommons that are worth a couple bucks. Don't be that guy. I want to find it in the box of uncommons you have over there. Well, guess what? They're not in there. Scary Devotion, Gearsmith Prodigy, Exclusion Mage, Divination, Aviation Pioneer, Inwind Mage, Anticipate, Wizard's Retort, good card, Hopped, Thatterer Sphinx, Negate, Ton of Swamps, there we go. Chart of course. That's a couple dollars right now. That's two, three dollars. Revitalize. Pegasus Corsair. Militia Bugler. Luminous Bonds. Luminous Bonds. The Unknown Vanguard. Knight's Pledge. Johnny's Pride Mate. Sarah Angel. Seal Away. Knight of Dupinalia. Gideon's Approach. Martyr of Dusk. Queen's Commission. Boatload of Land. Yet again. I have to finish this up. Sounds like uh, Grandma and the Little One are home. Alright. Almost there. There we go. Careless Voyage, Tormenty Voice, Spark Tongue Dragon, Shocks, Lightning Strike, Gutter Snipe, Goblin Instigator. There's a Wizard's Lightning. There's a buck right there. Give to Lava Runner, Fanatical Firebrand, Bombard, Hijack, Vampire Sovereign, Sky March Bloodletter, Reassembling Skeleton, Murder, the Cobwalts, Grave Digger, Epicure of Blood, Two Duresses, Bunch of more basic lands, Doom to Center, Child of Night, Abnormal Endurance, uh, Ravenous Troop, uh, Moment of Craving, So right there, if you didn't open the packs and straight up sold them, uh, you'd have one, two, three, four, five, 
six at least i mean this is probably eight dollars right there two land worlds so let's see what we get see if it's worth it so we got a real funky smell to them not the normal magic smell weird diamond mirror mirror image skywriter patrol and a detection tower all the hex proof in the new uh the new set. There's a lot of hex proof around. I see this getting play. All right. I'm trying to finish this up quick, guys. I got a spore swarm, ladies and gentlemen. Excuse me. Spore swarm, diligent excavator, Marari conjecture, and a foil champion of the flame. Cool. Champion of the flame is awesome. He's fun to brew. He'll never be a successful competitive deck card, but he's uh, he's fun. All right, Forerunner of the Heralds, Riverwise Augur, Famish Paladin, and an Immortal Son. Immortal. Great hit! Absolutely outstanding. Definitely uh, made a profit on this box. You can make a profit out of such a dirt cheap product. It's a good thing. We have a Stormfleet Aerialist, River Sneak, Savage Stomp, and a Dragon Skull Summit. So I'm very happy with this. Um, definitely turned out well. Uh, Mortal Suns around 15, Dragon Skull Summits. Round 5, and I know that'll go up with Rakdos in the format now. Uh, Detection Tower, probably still around 50 cents to a dollar. And uh, Uncommons, of course, you got great Uncommons. Ravenous Troop, Wizard's Lightning, Charter Course, Thrashing Brontodon, Aggressive Mammoth. So, um, a lot of great cards here in this product. So, as the professor would say, many Magic the Gathering players want to know. Uh, ask the question, is this worth it? Um, it can be, if you get lucky. <laughs> it's that simple. And then we got lucky here. Uh, definitely got lucky on this one. All these cards uh, you see here, with the exception of the Immortal Sun, because I need that for a deck. Um, other than that, everything else here goes in the Patreon pile. And... Uh, so all my patrons can expect to uh, hopefully eventually pull these, and uh, including the Land of War Elves. That will be a good common to pull. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, just did a quick little one of these after I scrambled home to get a video done. Uh, I'm going to edit it, throw it up for you guys, and have it up uh, hopefully before you hit pre-release tonight. Uh, well before you hit pre-release tonight, but like I said, I will not be going to pre-release tonight. Uh, I'll be going tomorrow at some point. Uh, just don't. I'm too tired. I don't feel like going and sitting through a three-hour-long pre-release at midnight. I don't know. It's just not my cup of tea tonight. Uh, everybody have a great weekend and uh, have a great pre-release. We'll talk to you later. Peace.